Hey guys, today we're at MTT System. And we are fitting an air suspension to our van. We're going to show you why in a second. MTT System is a company specializing in fitting custom air suspension to every make and model for both commercial and leisure vehicles. They are conveniently located in Gliwice, a town in south of Poland. The guys have invited us to get them fitted on our van and share our experience. The biggest question we have for these guys is why they recommend fitting air suspension to a camper van. You get a few benefits of fitting an air suspension. First of all is uh, safety and uh, improvement of the stability and handling. Imagine when you're on the motorway and you're exposed to uh, strong side winds the airbags will give you more support on the road and the stability. Another one is uh, controlling of the height of the rear end. So if you know, if you hit something with the rear end, basically you just lift the van up, go off the ferry or on the ferry or on a steep drive and you just uh, go more smoother over. And uh, the main reason as well is uh, leveling. You can set the different pressure in each side. If you park somewhere where the ground is not level, so one side higher, the, the other one's lower, so this gives you a leveling. Mm -hmm. That's what's getting mounted underneath the van. The whole process isn't intrusive to your van. We're only adding things rather than drilling holes or taking things apart. Top bracket comes in two pieces. Uh, the one of them is just to support um, chassis, so the airbag is not pressing the chassis just in one point, this, and it spreads on that plate. So these guys have a custom kit made for every vehicle, every make and model is covered. Everything's operated by a compressor which is under the seat. Yes, um, it's the whole system is like um, the airbags are connected to the compressor by the airlines. Uh, we always try to hide the compressor, so, um, and you don't have to see it really, because every whole system you operate from, from the gauge uh, mounted to the dashboard. So, and we have to take the seat out for this. So we got a compressor which is going underneath the driver's seat and we got a choice of one of these and we've picked this one because it looks cooler. Uh, we've got actually two options available. Uh, this one is um, a little bit cheaper but you pump both sides uh, same pressure and drop one or the other. This one with paddle switches uh, is quite better because you individually pump in and drop in the air in each side. So the guys are cracking on with, with the work in there and I just wanted to show you their new headquarters and this is obviously still being built but they're going to have a few stops for campers where, where you can plug into electricity and water and they're going to service campers as well. You're going to be able to do everything and fix everything in your, in your vehicle. Uh, it's pretty close to the motorway as well so it, I think it's going to be a really good stop. Okay, now uh, we finish uh, fitting the airbox and the next step is uh, run the airlines into the cup. So these airlines are getting fitted into the cabin where we're going to have the control over the two sides of the van independently, left and right. Very important thing is um, just setting the correct pressure. Uh, you cannot have uh, um, like minimum or zero pressure in the airbag, especially when driving. You can do this when you level the van, so you can squash one and rise the other one to the maximum, but not for driving, mm. because there's a chance you will damage the airbag. There is a, a rubber between two metal plates, so you have to keep these airbags quite open. If you're on a smooth motorway, you can have a little bit more pressure, so it stiffens it up a little bit. And when you go to like a bit bumpy road, so it's better to lower the pressure down so the airbag is a little bit softer and it works uh, a lot better. So now in, we are inside the cab with the airline. There's one, there will be another one coming in a minute. And uh, we don't even have to drill the hole in the floor because there is already one uh, with the groomer. So we go through this 
and it will be protected uh, so you won't get any water in it or something. For the camper van with uh, double gauge, uh, we use two different airlines, I mean two different colors. One's blue, uh, one's red. So, show you. This is the blue one. This is the red one. So, uh, you won't mix it up. So the seat is already out. And that's where the compressor is gonna go. Mounted on cable ties and it's very cleverly hidden. That's where the gauge is going to go in. So now uh, we just uh, uh, mounting the double gauge. As we said before, uh, we only use double gauges for camper vans. So it helps and allows you to level the van side by side. And for the Sprinter, we, we're fitting it in the dashboard. So it was like a little shelf before. I'm just pull this out and uh, this plate is uh, made actually for for sprinter so we're gonna sit here and we'll look really neat and that's done now looks really smart really tidy you can see how simple is it you know to operate on the controls because you only got two paddle switches one's for right side as for the passenger side up down so very simple to use as we always say uh, once fitted never driven without trust me Compressor is constantly connected to the battery. It's got switch, it's got inline fuse, so it's safe. And it's not draining the battery when it's not using it. Because it's got a relay on it, so building a relay. So it only works and take power when you, when you um, operate on the controls, on the, on the gauge. And also, uh, as we always said to customers, uh, um, use the compressor uh, on the, when the engine's running as well so you make sure you're not going to yeah. drain the battery and it's a little bit faster as well that's good and then also there's an emergency line if something happened with the compressor you can always use the um, air gun or something or even foot pump you know for off like a bike pump mm. so yeah perfect i'm excited to try it yeah you pro definitely notice the difference in stability mm. and 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 the comfort of your drive and uh as we as we say, uh, you know, it, it will make a lot better. Mm, perfect. Yeah. Thank All you right. very much. Thanks for coming. It was Cheers. A Cheers. And to be fair, I can't wait to test this. I've been waiting to have these two paddles uh, on my control board forever, so now I can control the back of the van. And it does look it does look like it makes a huge difference. We're gonna take it for a drive and see how the van feels now. So there's a lot of potholes on the way here and conveniently we can test the back. And to be fair, my first first thoughts are the car isn't isn't doing that. It's more kind of rigid, which is good on these kind of conditions, I guess. But we're gonna do some more tests and let, let you know how it is. So we drove for about 10 kilometers before we stopped to get some food and straight away I can feel the difference. The car drives, the van drives like a normal car and when I was going over 70 miles an hour I couldn't feel the speed but usually I can sort of feel the back kind of slightly going and the van's rattling a bit so that was a lot better. Um, we haven't tried it on a roundabout yet but I think the next thing we're going to try is we're going to get somewhere that's not very level and we're going to try and level the van and see what range we get. Some people get different ranges from 4 to 10 centimetres, like Tomek said. So that's the next step. So we've been staying in this beautiful place a few weeks now. Got ourselves a little spot. Got ourselves some upgrades, which we're going to talk about in a different video. But what I wanted to show you now is how we leveled our van here. So I know this isn't the most reliable thing to use as a leveling thing. We usually use a combination of a few things. Uh, some tape. 
By the way, this is our office for the next few days. So I think the, the easiest way you can do this is just measure the distance from here to there, which is 16 and a half centimeters. That's with the air suspension all the way up. So I'm gonna drop it down now, all the way. So I'm gonna measure it again. You can probably see that it's actually dropped quite a bit. Uh, what was it, 16 and a half before? Now we are on 12. So that's four centimeters, four and a half centimeters of uh, movement up and down. Let's see how it's changed inside. Still on a hill. Let's see what the level says. Okay, so before we were minus point minus 2.4 and now we're on minus 1.6. The front is still too high. But as you can see, the whole land is a bit steep. This isn't gonna level your van fully, but it does help. And if you need that extra leeway in the back or you know, you need to get your right side up and your left side down, is really helpful the biggest advantage for me is the driving it feels more sturdy and safer and we can adapt to different road conditions i really love this place my parents have done an amazing job and they let us stay there for the next week so we're going to enjoy our time but that's it for this video thanks for the guys at mtt system for having us mm, it was a great experience if you're considering uh, fitting air suspension to your van, I would recommend going there, they know what they're doing, they speak in English very well, uh, they can customise the system for you. So we've got a 5% discount with the code Honeymoon Campers, and that's valid until the end of July, so go get it. And thank you very much for watching, see you next time. <laughs>